Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do a video about why I love audiobooks. I feel like this is a really touchy subject sometimes because there are so many people out there who are like, audiobooks aren't really like reading a real book. Squeeze me, but I think they are. I'm gonna touch a little bit on that, but really I'm gonna talk about like maybe some of my favorite audiobooks, how I listen to audiobooks, like blah 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 blah, all that jazz. So I listen to audiobooks uh, via Audible, which I have as an app on my phone. I have an hour drive to work in the morning and an hour drive home every night. So as you can imagine, I have a lot of time to listen to audiobooks like so they really help me because I don't have a lot of time necessarily now at home to read like physical copies of books. I thoroughly enjoy them. It's almost like I feel like audiobooks almost bring the story like almost more to life when you listen to them. There are certain books that I way prefer to listen to audiobooks. Like if I want to read a high fantasy big honkin book like for example something like this. <gasps> I would rather read something like that on audiobook because I just feel like when I see a large book I just get like stressed out and it's too daunting and it's really heavy and I have like these weak little wrists. I prefer to listen to that and I get way more out of the book when I listen to it. I can kind of follow along a little bit better. I don't know why that is, that's just me. Some other people might relate to that too, I don't know. The other types of books that I always, always listen to on audiobooks are nonfiction, memoirs, biographies and any kind of comedy book, you get so much more out of the story when you listen to the book that is read by the person who actually wrote the book. Because there is just, they know exactly how to read it, they know what they mean, they put in little side notes and things, and I just feel like that is the only way I will ever listen to, or I will, I will ever read a memoir or anything like that. Because you just, you really like, you get that feeling because you're feeling what they're feeling as they're saying it. So, I don't know, I mean, I really love audiobooks, I don't, I don't really get it when someone says, and if you're one of these people, maybe you can explain to me down below why you think that listening to an audiobook isn't like reading an audiobook, because we've heard the same story, just because you read it in your head and I've had someone read it to me in my head, how is that different? Like how is that any different than actually picking up a book and reading it? Like, I'm gonna go there, but you can't say that someone who can't see and who listens to audiobooks doesn't read. Like, really? Be <laughs> I don't really get that. So, I'm just saying, if you listen to audiobooks and you feel like embarrassed because someone says, well, that's not really reading, well, who cares what they think because they're just silly. I love audiobooks. I listen to probably at least two to three a month. I'm currently listening to My Lady Jane, and this is by Cynthia Hand and some other people. Brody, Ashton, and Jody Meadows. This book, after just listening to the first few hours of it, I can 100% tell you that this book is better as an audiobook than an actual book because of the narrator. She brings the story to life, she's got these voices and like the characters down pat, and it's just like, it's so good. It's really, really so good. Now with all that being said, I will say that there are some books that are really, like some audiobooks are really bad, but that has nothing to do with whether or not you're listening to it on audiobook, audiobook, versus reading it. It just has to do with the narrator. So what I recommend is to listen to the preview of the audiobook on Audible or whatever app or program you're using. There's usually like a preview clip that you can listen to. And in that clip, if you can think like, yeah, the narrator is just not my jam, then don't get it, but if you think that they're good, then definitely try it. But I do have to say there are a lot of times, well not a lot of times, but sometimes when the narrator can really actually ruin the story for you, but you know, it's a gamble you gotta take. Maybe that's kind of how the book is in general. Now I'm going to talk about some of my favorite audiobooks that I've ever read. First of all, I'm going to talk about the Harry Potter series. I've recently listened to um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on Audible. These are some of the best audiobooks. The narrator is amazing. I do recommend both reading the physical books and listening because I feel like I'm getting different things out of listening to Harry Potter than I am from when I read it and it's cool that it kind of like 
brings to light some other things. The ones that I'm listening to are narrated by Jim Dale, and I think he's doing an excellent job, so I highly, highly recommend those, especially if you're looking to reread them. I think it's a great way to do it. Another one of my favorite audiobooks that I've ever listened to is The Martian by Andy Weir. This was like one of my favorite audiobooks. The narrator was spot on. He completely captured the character of Mark Watney. It was like, when I was listening, it was almost like I was watching a movie. Fabulous job. Like, I feel like this book, for me, was better to listen to on audiobook because it did have a lot of scientific, like, botany type of stuff in it that may have been a bit cumbersome and boring to read, but to listen to it wasn't so bad because you've got that character. You know what I'm saying? Another one of my favorite audiobooks that I've ever listened to is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The narrator for this book was spot on for The Voice of Death. It was just so good. It was so well done. The cadences and the way he spoke and the, like, the slight pause when you needed a pause or the tone of his voice. It was all perfect and matched the story so incredibly well that if, if you've already read The Book Thief as well, or if you're just planning on reading it for the first time, the audiobook is fabulous, so I definitely recommend it. I also highly recommend any of Sophie Kinsella's audiobooks. They are fabulous, they are so British and awesome, and I love them. They are like listening to, like reading a romantic comedy, and it's just, it's awesome. They're so, so fun, and they're a very easy audiobook to listen to. If you're doing other things, like you can kind of keep up pace and you're not going to miss out on all these very important details like you would with something like this, where you need to pay very close attention. I also like to listen to Nicholas Sparks' book on audiobook over reading them because I don't know why, but maybe it's because I know a lot of them are going to be turned into movies. I kind of like to have that experience as well. And reading them, I find them very slow, but I don't find them as slow when I listen to them. So I, yeah, I like to listen to Nicholas Sparks' books for sure. And another one I would recommend is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green on audiobook. Definitely read it and listen to it. It's just overall an amazing experience. So sad. So those are some of the reasons why I personally love listening to audiobooks. Let me know down below what some of your favorite audiobooks are and what your thoughts are on the whole subject. I would love to know. Like I said, definitely just listen to the preview before committing to purchase a audiobook because they are expensive. I do think I spend like, it's like 17 or $19 a month on my Audible account. But for me, it's totally worth it because it definitely gets used and if you are not enjoying a book that you're listening to on Audible, you can return it and you could just get another book. So if you find that you're listening to something, you don't enjoy it, if you find that you've listened to an entire book and you didn't enjoy it, you really hated it and you want your money back, totally cool. You can, they have like a no questions asked guarantee, you can just return your book and get something new. And that doesn't cost an extra fee to you, which is awesome. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I hope to see you again soon and happy reading slash listening because they're the same thing.